So? How did the bail hearing go? Dad, I'm working till this evening, so, uh, if you want to stay, you're welcome. <laughs> so how did the bail hearing go? Don't get involved. I already am involved. Not to mention the fact that it looks like I'm all you got. So how did the bail hearing go? Fine. Fine. That's it, just to... Fine. I'll be out here in no time. You're not gonna get sprung, are you? I'm going to. Don't be silly. Hey, tell me the truth, lady. You're a con artist, but I know when you're lying. ADA convinced the judge that I might skip bail. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, I'm, I, no, I have no connection. Come on, it was not like you committed a murder, for gosh sakes. I mean, it was, it, was a, it was a lousy jewel heist, a botched one at that. And the judge denied you bail? Well, he didn't exactly you know, deny it. Let me talk to this judge for five minutes. I'll have bail, and I'll have him bail him at the bottom but of a river. But set the bail, $150,000, okay? Wow. Well, but then your husband ought to be able to afford it. I mean, I saw the suite he had at the Regency, those custom shirts of his. I mean, he just has to put 10% down, and you're out in no time, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm just waiting for him to contact me now, that's all, with a good attorney. You're waiting for him to contact you? Yeah. So you're telling me that not only didn't Jeffrey show up at the hearing himself, but he didn't even send a lawyer? I am sure that he will be here very soon with all the attorneys and all the bail money I need. Uh -huh. Well, I tell you what, if you don't mind, I'm gonna hang around till Jeffrey shows up with the cavalry. Yeehaw! Oh, Most time. Yeah, that stinking, <clears throat> guzzy cut you call that? Forget that stuff out of here. No, Dad, we don't want the prisoners to starve. You know, I think I'm gonna be just fine without that. Frank, did you learn nothing from me about food? Dad, why don't you just take it up with the fast food restaurant across the street? No, I'm going to take it up with a good restaurant. I'm going to take it up with my restaurant. No, but that's real. Oh, you're going to love necessary. it. It's going to be fabulous. It's not necessary. It's a done deal. Hey, what are you doing? Dad, what are you doing? Oh, jeez. Hey, thanks for keeping your opinions to yourself. I'll be back. Hey, you want me to get you another tray, Dad? Frank! Frank, has there been any messages from my husband? No, Jenna, I'm sorry. Look, if you need an attorney, I can get you one pro bono. No, what right? I need is my husband. Look, Jenna, what do you want from me? Your husband skipped out of his hotel, and that's the last time we've seen him. Frank, I know I used up my one phone call, but I have a few numbers that he might be able to be reached at those numbers. Would you try them for me? I can't get involved like that. Oh, Frank, I, I have got to find out what is going on with Jeffrey, please. Look, I'm not promising you anything. There's three numbers on this piece of paper. Could you try that first number, please? That's the same number that you gave me that's in England. I know, I know, I know. That's the number where my... Oh, where Jeffrey's son is, and the nanny, and I, I need to know if he's been in touch with them. Please do this for me. Do my best. Thank you. Today. Like now? 
What's the all fired rush? Dad, you knew it was gonna come up pretty fast. Don't pretend you don't. I have a right to pretend anything I want. The daughter that I've been around for the last 20 odd years is just dying to leave me. I told you it'd be like this. Yeah, I guess I knew. Like what? You mean like I can't handle this? Like it's just too much for me? I can't, I'm one of those dads that just can't let go of their children? I'm gonna turn into a sentimental mush on you and beg you to stay? I am Frank Achilles Cooper Sr. I can handle anything. I can certainly handle saying goodbye to my little girl. I mean, it's not gonna be forever, is it? It's gonna be, uh, you'll visit me. If you don't, I'll visit you and I'll stay. So it's no big deal, right? Right. Right. That's right. It's, it's really, it's, it's no big deal. This is really it, huh? You're gonna be okay. I said I was. I am. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah, you did. You did. So, uh... Look, I, I don't want you to and Alan Michael to be happy, you know? So if it takes getting away from the whole clan, you know, to do it, so be it. Thanks. But whatever you do, don't... I don't think it's a good idea to make meatloaf under the hood of his car because I, I think that baboon <laughs> over there just isn't going to understand the niceties of radiator roast. So, <laughs> I'll stick to the stove. <laughs> Alwyn, don't forget everything I taught you about, like, not getting, like, getting lost in small towns, okay? Right, just... Follow the road with the yellow line, and and you'll always end up somewhere. You packed? Yeah. Okay. Packed. You got Nadine's locket? Yeah, I got it. And you'll always have me. I know. I know. <sighs> Damn, we've been through some stuff. Yeah, we have. Good times and bad. For poor and poorer. Yeah, we were never poor. You taught me what it means to, to love a family. That makes me richer than I could ever be. <sighs> the last time I held your hand like this, I gave you away that knucklehead over there. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna miss you calling me names. Well, don't worry. I'm gonna send you postcards with more names on them. Deal. Look, I promise I will take care of her, Buzz. Hey, sure. come on. This is what is this? Like the end of the world? Come on. This is this is a piece of cake. It's just a are still here come on hit the road what's Dad. keeping you you come on it's I... gonna be russia you're gonna be stuck on 31 you know what that's like you want to be stuck <laughs> oh you're right are you ready uh yeah just about Good. i got some things i gotta do uh, look would you just shut up for a second i beg your pardon young lady because i don't want to leave until i tell you how i really feel about oh, damn it i know how you feel about me do you really yeah really because I know most of the time I'm, I'm yelling at you for acting so crazy and telling you how much you embarrass me, which you do, and telling you to stop it. But I'm telling you now that I don't ever want you to change. And you are crazy as a loon, and sometimes I look at you and I, and I ask myself, how could you possibly be my father? <laughs> I'm glad, and I'm proud of you, Dad. Mm, well, you know, at least I finally found your real home here. Huh? Yeah. Dad? Yeah? I always had a home because I was with you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Come on, get out. Get out of here before Smitty and Miss Popoff walk in. They start blubbering. They're not tough like I am. Come on, I got things to do. I got to get to you. Right now. 
life hands you lemons, you make lemonade. Sometimes you don't have enough. You've lost a lot in the past two years. Yeah, but look what I got. I got you. Oh. I got you, I got Frank, I got that beautiful granddaughter, and who knows what's around her. Oh, I know, it's something wonderful. Yeah. Hey, can you help me make a blue paint special to go? Oh, you bet I can. <laughs> Go where? Where else? Jail. Hey, beware of diner owners bearing gifts. Come here, look at this stuff. This is incredible. Oh, Buzz. You really <laughs> didn't need to do this. What? I could let you starve to death on prison rations? Come on, look at you. You're skin and bones. You need some meat on there. You're getting too thin. <laughs> It's just I won't have time to eat it. I'm gonna be out of here. Good. Get the uh, get the blanket off of there. Can you bring on me the blanket? The blanket. The blanket. Bring the blanket. Can you give it to me? So Jeffrey showed up. Well, no, no, not yet. But I gave Frank uh, a couple of numbers where I know he can be reached. Oh, you did, did you? Yeah, and I'm sure that he will wire me the bail money and all the attorneys that I'll need. So I, I'm sure that. Uh, you have a whole diner full of customers who need you. So you, you think my customers need me more than you need me. Here. We're going to have a little picnic here. A little prison picnic. Puss, I'll be fine. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. Don't you have better things to do with your life than to sit on prison floors and have picnics? Why don't you get on with the rest of your life? Well, let's see. I've lost a wife, two daughters, and a son-in-law. That's why. Lucy? Yeah. Oh, Buzz, I'm very sorry. I really am. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do without her. That girl, she picked me up and put me back together again for 23 years. She was a strong one. You know, even when she was a kid, she was a strong one. You should give yourself more credit. You're pretty tough, too. Oh, yeah? You still say that? After so long a time? Yeah, after so long a time. You know, something has gotten through my thick head. Is that the good people in your life, you gotta appreciate them while they're still there. Don't let them slip through your fingers, at least not until you tell them how much you love them, you know what I mean? You should do that. Yeah. So, I'm gonna stick here. Till I'm sure you're all right. Hey, <laughs> you didn't forget how I like my omelet. <laughs> well, you know, I forgot a lot of things these last couple of years, but somehow I never forgot your likes and dislikes. Mm. Oh. that you gave me for Jeffrey. One of them's disconnected, and the other one's no answer. But, Jocelyn, you, you reached Jocelyn, and no, then you must no, have... No, 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 there was no answer. But I'm sorry, and I'll try again. So, you still think you can do this without me? Oh. oh, 
Did you? No. Jeffrey didn't even call? I, there's not a word. I checked every place. I just did Could you do me a favor? Could you try that number in England again? Jocelyn, she's, she's probably there, and she would have heard from him. I already tried all night long. I called on the hour, every hour, no answer. Nobody's home. I don't understand it. Jocelyn would never take that I little just, baby without leaving look, a message. I'm just telling someone. you what I got. I'm just very frightened of You know, kids, can we wrap this up quickly? Because this is totally against the regulations, yeah, all right? Just a minute, Frank, please. You know, th please. You're suddenly desperate. Is this because Jeffrey left you in the lurch? It's just this little boy. He's... It's probably about two o'clock in the afternoon in England right now, and that's his nap time, so I'm sure they would be there. This new guy's the apple of your eye, isn't he? Henry changed my whole world. I, I love him more than anything. We're gonna find him. I promise you, believe me, you'll find the boy. All right, Dad, you got one more minute, and I gotta take her back to the side. Right, Jenna tells me they set a trial date. That's right. What? Is she gonna need a lawyer? Yeah, ASAP. Oh, That's right. But who? Oh, I guess you want. I guess you're the best we can find. I mean, you gotta wrap this up really quickly. You understand me? Oh, Frank. I'm sorry, Jenna. But Frank, I want to thank you for everything you've done. Yeah. You, uh, it's gonna be all right. Uh, you're right. I'm gonna be strong starting right now. Come on, Jeffrey's gonna service. There's gotta be some logical explanation for you're, where the boy you're is. Right, there's a logical explanation. I just wish I wasn't trapped in here. Why? <laughs> it's a jail. I've got it, I've got it. I've got some rings in the hotel safe. Now, Jeffrey probably forgot to take those. We could I, use those for I bail, couldn't we? I hate to be the one to tell you this, but uh, your husband didn't forget. He took him when he checked out. He cleaned you out, babe. How do you know that? I was there. I saw the inside of the safe, so... This isn't like Jeffrey to just take off without leaving any kind of word. Oh, well, it isn't. I got it. Oh. What? I got it. I got a way to get you out of here. Oh, how? You relax. I'm just going to take your... Oh, no, 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 no. This bail, it's, it's quite, quite a huge amount. It is a huge amount. And a huger amount to me. No, no, uh, wait. Uh, you don't have this kind of money, Oh, no, details, details, details. Come on. I'm serious. I'm serious, too, and I'm seriously going to get you out of here. Don't worry. Buzz! I really do appreciate everything that you've done for me. Honestly, I do. But I can't do anything for you if you don't let go of my arm. Well, I'm not letting go until you promise you're not going to do something crazy. Crazy me? Buzz, I'm serious. I gave up being crazy years ago. You are looking at the face of Sandy here. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Uh, I gotta take back. Okay, hey, look. Hey, stiff upper chin, okay? Be back in time for tea. Come on, let's go. Uh, now, in further review of the submitted numbers, I regret to inform you that Spalding Enterprises will pass on the office. Come in. Hi, there was nobody in the outer office. The, hi, there you are. You're new. <laughs> so I thought I'd just knock. I'm glad you did, Buzz. I was happy to see you come in, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What, business, pleasure, just in the neighborhood and decided to come up and see me sometime? <laughs> uh, business, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, silly. Not that I don't think fondly of all the times you backed me under the basket when we were shooting hoops behind a diner. That was, you know... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a real shame life can't be as simple as a little game of one-on-one -on -one in basketball, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done that for so long. Yeah, a long time. I have to rectify it. that, don't no, <laughs> I? Yes. Lynn, I want you to run out and buy me a brand new basketball. <laughs> now, Miss Falden? Uh, we'll take this up later, thanks, dear. So, <sighs> business. I'm afraid so. From the look on your face, I'd say it's serious. Well, it is to me. I don't want to waste any of your time, Al, so I'll get straight to the point. All right. I need $15,000. <laughs> oh, that's right to the point. <laughs> and I need it today. Today? Yeah. Sounds like somebody might be in trouble with the law. <sighs> I approached a loan officer about it, and he wouldn't give me the time of day. I guess I approached one time too many. Uh-huh, so you came right here. Well, you know, Al, how many people do I know has a spare $15,000? <laughs> it's you. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> well, so I got for collateral just the diner. If I put that up, will you lend me the cash? 
Well, I can see this is very important to you, boss. Well, whatever you're seeing, multiply it times two. Yeah, well, I don't want your diner, Buzz. Why well, it's your livelihood. I wouldn't know what to do with it anyway. Ah, uh, come on, you can flip a burger. Of course, I really can't see you in an apron with a spatula in your hand. I mean. No, it's not something I really fancy doing. But anyway, back to the 15,000, what is that? 10% of the total bail? I mean, the courts are gonna demand you put up the diner for collateral anyway. That's true. I'm certainly not going to get by on my good looks, am I? Yeah, well, you haven't even told me what or who this is for. That's right, I haven't. Well, can't be for you. I mean, you're out running around free. This is true. Uh-huh. Then who's the bail for? A friend. A friend. Ah, name a friend? Do you really have to know this? Mm -hmm. Full disclosure, Buzz. Come on, I know you. You wouldn't go out on a <sighs> limb like this for somebody if you didn't care very deeply about them. Is it someone in the family? No. Well, the, it's not Reba. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, it's Jenna. It's Jenna Bradshaw. Ah. She's in a little trouble with the law. What kind of trouble? <sighs> I'm not going to get into that with you right now. Okay? Well, if it's this kind of bail, this size of bail, it's got to be some sort of medium to big oh, trouble. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Just a little while ago, I betrayed Jenna Bradshaw, hung her out to dry free. You remember that? I certainly do. It's not something I'm likely to forget. I hope but... so, because you got control of Spalding Enterprises because uh, of it. All right, and I'm forever grateful. I hope you're 15,000 you know bucks grateful about it. I also went down to the Bahamas to get Nick out of trouble. Oh, now you're playing dirty. Huh? I'm just calling in some markers, something you do at least 20 times a day right behind that desk. <laughs> I thought Jenna Bradshaw was married now. She is. But you still care about her. She's a good lady and a good friend, no matter what she's involved with. Very well. Okay, okay. I'm not going to loan you the money, Buzz. I'll give it to you. No, no way. Nope. I'm not here for a handout. I'm here for a loan. Fair and square. What are you going to do? Make me an offer I can't refuse? Huh? We always did understand each other, didn't we? Uh-huh. We certainly did. Now, if... Let's say when the time comes. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll be there for me, Buzz. I'd do that anyway. You know that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well. I just want to make sure. Is it a deal? the deal. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to say that again? Frank, you heard me right the first time. I heard you, but I, I don't believe you. Cross my heart and hope to die. I got the bail money. Miss Bradshaw's out of here. Where and how did you find that kind of money? I have my ways, Frank. No, 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 you're right there. No, I really don't want to know. Don't tell me, okay? Yeah. Save us the aggravation. You are unbelievable. Aren't I, though? But it's true. And here's the proof. Yes. Grab your coat and get your hat. Is this true what or the policeman told me? Get your hat and grab your coat. I'm not really free of here. Oh, of course you are. Here. Dad paid your bail. Oh. Well, however the song goes, I am directing your feet to the sunny side of the street. I don't know. I can never repay you. Come on, let's blow this pop stand. Get a cup of. Oh, good. I mean, scones and jam. No, 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 I, I don't okay. think so here because there's a lot of paperwork that needs to be done. Okay. Oh, Frank. Oh, I can do this, can I? Uh. Yes, Dan, you can do it. Great. Okay. You stay here. You relax. I'll be back in a flash. I'm Come not on. going anywhere without you. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been trying to call you. My friends have been trying to call you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all right. You're there now. Can I speak to Coop? What? What? No! No, it 
wasn't all right that you give him to Jeffrey. He said he was going to bring him to me. Well, he lied. He didn't bring him to me. Oh, dear God. Where's my baby? Okay, gentlemen, lady, we're out of here. Sir, have you been here the last few minutes? Been here since two in the morning. Uh, there was a lady uh, here. She was uh, English and yeah, good looking. Yeah, I saw. Her. I, did she go someplace like in the ladies' room? I saw her talking on the phone, and then she took off out of here. Did she say where she was going? Nope. But I did hear her say something about needing to find a baby. Thank you for coming down. You're welcome. I was busy all morning with a deposition. I got here as soon as well, I could. Well, now that you're here, things are looking up. Yeah, well, don't bet on it. <clears throat> so, Jenna Bradshaw arrested for burglary. When I got that call, it was like deja vu. I was glad to hear that bail was posted, but Frank tells me we have a lot of work to do. Uh, Frank, look, uh, what? I want to talk to my lawyer. You're a cop. I need to do this in private, Frank. I don't care what my son told you. Jenna's innocent. Yeah, I'd like to hope so, Buzz. It's not the way it looks, I promise you. You know, you would be amazed at how few judges actually fall for that line. Now, the first thing I want to do is talk to Jenna. Well, that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Why? Buzz, where is she? I've been trying to reach you for hours. Hello, Jenna. Is that all you can say? Where are you, and what have you been up to? I'm glad you called. Oh, stop with the niceties. Just tell me where you are and where's my son? I want answers, and I want them now. You can start with, where is my son? Coop's fine. He's with me. And where is that? I think Southwest. Southwest? Huh? This is not a game, Jeffrey. You hold in your care the most important thing in my whole world. I know that, Jenna. If anything happens to that little boy, I'll never forgive you. What? How could you think that I would harm Coop? I care about him deeply. Then put him on the phone. I want to talk to him. Well, I'd like to, but I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Well, he and Bunny are in dreamland right now. I know how to take care of my stepson. I mean, give me some credit. Give you some credit? Give you some credit? The last time I saw you, I saw the back of you while you were escaping, leaving me holding $30,000 worth of jewels. Do you know where, where my next destination was? Jail. Well, I was just about to wire you your bail money. Oh, well, don't bother. It's already been taken care of by my other best friend. Who? Buzz. Well, fine. Then that means you're free. You can meet us in Dallas. Oh, oh, so you're in Dallas, are you? Yes, I told you there would be another job, didn't I? Now wake up, Jenna. Do you think that I would really spend two years with you and Coop if I didn't really care about both of you? No matter what you think, I would never use your son against you. But you still need me for this job, don't you? Yes. Yes, I need you. Best safe cracker I know. Jeffrey, I didn't... 
I didn't want it all to turn out this way. I didn't either. We both made mistakes. I never should have insisted that we stay in Springfield, and you should have known better than to dig into the past. Now, Johnny, listen to me. What we had before, we can have again. Oh, oh, you make it sound so simple. Either you meet me in Dallas and we do the job, or you stay there, you go to trial, and you do hard time for burglary. It's that simple. All right, all right. I'll be on the next flight out of here. That's my girl. I know you wouldn't let us down. Well, I'll be there. You have a safe trip, darling. Hey, wait a second, you guys. Jenna's at the bank. She's transferring funds so she can reimburse me for the bail. Oh, this does not make me happy. Now, if I rush over here to handle her case, and then bother to show up. I wish you wouldn't take it like this. Why not? My time is valuable, she, and she needs her priorities straightened out. She'll be back in a few minutes. Will she? Yeah. You know, in my dealings with Jenna Bradshaw over the years, she has never been the pillar of the community. However, she was one of Henry Chamberlain's favorite people, and Vanessa loved her, too. It went both ways. And that is why I'm here. Now then, I've already petitioned to get the police records. Well, you have Officer Cooper's version of the story. I want her side of the story, in her words, on tape, in my office, I'll, in a hurry. I'll do whatever I can you to get help. into my office, Buzz, and it has to be fast. I'll have her to your office before closing tonight. It. This is in your hands, okay? But you tell her time is of the essence. Tell that to Bradshaw, innocent or not. Dad, I need to talk to you. Dad, look, I, don't, I, I don't have time. No, well, you're, you're going to make time. I'd just like to just throw something up in the air if that's okay with you, all right? Yeah. Let's say somebody jumped bail, all right? I left a good old friend holding the bag. That isn't what's Did going I on. mention any names here? The point is, is that bail bondsmen hate jumpers and so do cops. But let's just say that this story happens to be true, Dad. You mean like those real life TV cops? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I would think that the smartest thing that somebody could do right now would be to intercept the alleged felon and bring him or her back before they have a chance to do anything more stupid. Frank, why are you giving her a second chance? All I'm doing is offering the guy, the hypothetical guy, the opportunity to get a head start and not to lose a shirt on his or her back. Now, right now, the only crime that somebody has committed here is that they've acted foolishly. But I, I you don't know, see, I'm just speaking hypothetically here, so, you know, I guess if it was real, I'd be getting real upset right now. Do you understand? What are you still doing here, Dad? I owe you one, Frank. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bump in line. Listen, I just heard an announcement for a flight to London. I need to know if there's certain passengers on board. I'm sorry, sir. The flight manifest is confidential. Oh, come on! Don't spout airline policy at me. Come on, I'm talking about some urgent here. This is an emergency. Please! Look, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, everybody, this is this is really important. Uh, a person's, person's going to be in terrible trouble if I don't find her. She's about uh, about this tall. She's got uh, brown, reddish hair, blue, gray eyes. She's a uh, uh, British accent. Nobody? Nobody? I, anybody? Anybody here? Anybody in the terminal? Have you, see, have you seen a British lady? She's about this tall, and she's boarding a plane to London. It's an emergency. i got to talk to her. And, Going somewhere? As a matter of fact, I am. I got a lead on my sister from Mrs. Dwight, a good one. You're kidding. The old lady had a change of heart. So I'm on my way to Arizona, hopefully to get some answers. <sighs> Glad. I really am. Hope you packed your chapstick. Uh, yes. You're mighty dry. It can be brittle. I just hope this lead doesn't turn out to be dry. Actually, I don't know what I'll find in Arizona. <laughs> I don't even know if my sister's still alive, but I'm doing what Mama asked me to do. Well, whatever happens, you're being a great daughter. It's your last wish. You're branding it. Take comfort in that. Now boarding gate 17A, flight 3626 for Phoenix, Arizona. That's me. Um, 
Whatever you're looking for out there in Arizona, I'll be find it. Ditto for when you get back home. Thanks. I, I never told you. Uh, what? We spent a lot of months kidding ourselves. And, uh, but I don't. Can't think of the word. I was gonna just. It's okay. Really, it's okay. Uh, you're the best, Buzz. You really are, and you deserve something wonderful. Up, please. Yes, I'll have to. That plane leaves in two minutes and it's our last flight out. We just made it. Thank you. I have a ticket! I have a ticket! Excuse me, could you please open that door? There's a passenger aboard I have to talk to. It's an emergency. I'm sorry, sir. door open for me. I, the passenger's on board. I need to talk to her. That is impossible, sir. That plane is taxiing for takeoff. I need to catch the next plane to Dallas. That was the last flight for today. The next one leaves tomorrow. And it's entirely booked. It's I, close. I can get you on the wait list for tomorrow's flight. Division heading the <laughs> hall. It's gonna be bitter as with me. Oh, I need your help. Well, you need more than that. You need a refresher in manners. Go outside and have my secretary. Listen, I don't announce. have time to worry about corporate etiquette. Think of me as a friend who needs a favor. I just loaned you $15,000 to get Jenna out of the pokey. Isn't that friendly enough? I appreciate it. I really do. But unless you want your money at the bottom of some bail bondsman's pocket, you have to do one more thing for me. Have to. Have to, isn't I have no choice. Well, think of it as protecting your investment. Oh, now you're hitting right below the money belt, aren't you? All right. What do you want, Buzz? Al, I need you to use your connections to get me into Dallas society. <laughs> when do you want to go hobnobbing around with a bunch of beef-eating oil barons? <laughs> I'm going to lick about them. Only this guy. I need to find him. And I need to find him soon. Jenna, I've been expecting you. Where is he, Jeffrey? I could ask you the same thing. Uh I'm not in the mood for games. Where's Buzz? You didn't come all the way to Dallas without your best friend. You just forget Buzz. You tell me where my son is right now. Give him back right now. Aren't we lucky to have found each other? You tell me where my son is. You tell me this instant or I'm calling the police. Sweetheart, you're a felon who's jumped bail. Do you think that's really wise? I don't care! If they lock me up and throw away the key, you give me back. All right, all right, all right. Jenna, you win. I'll tell you where the boy is, all right? As soon as you help me separate the ladies from Dallas from the jewelry at the ball tonight. Where is he? He's with the sitter safe and sound, Jenna. Now, do you think that I would ever, ever harm him? I love him, too. You kidnapped him from his nanny. Yes, and I brought him here to be with you. To be with you. Well, I'm not with him, am I? Oh, Jenna, listen. I love Coop, too. Do you think, do you think under any circumstance that I would put that little boy in danger, do you? You've always been very good to him. Yes, and to you, Jenna. To you, too. Don't forget that, please. All right. Yes, you have. Jeffrey, if you had a son of your own, 
You don't understand how I'm feeling. Please, please let me see him. I promise, I promise. Later, I promise, all right? Listen, if it's any consolation, all right? I called the sitter before you came. He's, he's with her. He's watching his favorite cartoons. The boy's fine. He's fine, all right? Mm -hmm. And he will be fine until you see him tonight. Now, you just, you have to trust me on it. Languishing in jail. Look, we've been through this, Jenna. I went to England to get Coop. All right. Now I'm sorry if it took longer than expected, but hey, you got lucky. Buzz Cooper came to your rescue. Yeah, I did. Thank God for Buzz Cooper. And what of it is? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I'm just surprised he didn't come with you to get Coop. He doesn't know where I am, and he doesn't know that Coop is his son. And I want to keep it that way. I'm glad to hear that. Jenna. I thought I was losing you. I don't want that to happen, Jenna. I don't want to lose you. You understand me? To us. You know, for the record, I can, I can understand why you might still have feelings for Buzz. He's right there in front of you every time you look in little Coop's face. Jeffrey, there's nothing I can do about the fact that he is Coop's natural and real father. I'm the father he knows, Jenna. I'm the father on his birth certificate. I know. I hope so. Now, just remember that there's a reason why it didn't work out between you and Buzz. He's not the right man for you. That's your unbiased opinion, is it? Jenna, I've seen you two together. It's, it's not a good fit. He's a, it's a very nice little man. Jenna, you were made for much bigger and better things. Meaning you. Yes, meaning me. You know, what we have may not be the stuff that, that dreams are made of, but it worked well enough for me. I thought it was real enough. Coop seemed content. But what about his mother? I was content. Until... Well, until what? But, yeah. I just want to see my little boy. I'm glad you didn't fall in love with Buzz. I know how much your son means to you. Mm -hmm. And if you still love Buzz, that would just make everything so complicated. Yes. Well, you, you don't have to worry on that score. Oh, we better get ready for this uh, heist you have planned. That's quite a change of tune. I've realized how much I owe you. You've done... You really have done a great deal to help me. And I did botch up things in Springfield. And I want to make it up to you. Will you promise me this is the last time we rob people of their jewelry? And my honor is your husband. I promise. And you'll give me back my son. You have my word. Good. You better get ready. My clothes are in my suite. Uh, you, Jenna, you can, you can move into here. There's plenty of room. Thank you. But um, there isn't plenty of time for me to move everything and look ravishing for the ball. <laughs> But I'll, I'll meet you back here, and we can go together. Welcome back, Jenna. I've missed you. I've missed you, too. Wouldn't have it any other way.
do anything to get my son back. Anything. Not so fast, but you... You're here. I thought I was seeing things. Oh, no, it's me. Buzz Cooper of Vision and Khakis. Well, what are you doing here in Texas? I mean, how did you know to find me here? Well, you know me. I have my ways. Boy, you're the vision. Look at you. Buzz, get serious. Oh, I'm very serious, honey. How did you find me here? Now, that doesn't really matter, now does it? I don't have time to talk to you right now. I've got to meet Jeffrey. Yeah, somehow I thought you might be meeting Jeffrey. If we have a party we're going to. Yeah, boy, I'm telling you, jail one day? Then parties the next day and society? I mean, you live some kind of life, don't you, girl? Buzz, don't do this now. Do what to you? I mean, I've hardly said hello. Buzz, I promise you I'll explain everything to you later. No, 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 now! Now! I sort of got this thing figured out, you see. I mean, when you were on your way to the Grant's house to rob it, you weren't alone, were you? You had your partner, Jeffrey, with you. But what I can't figure out is why you didn't give him up. Why are you going to do time for him? So all I want to know is... Why? You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, but I really think I do, my darling. I think you and Jeffrey rob rich people to make a living. You do that, don't you? Oh, well, you don't have to answer that right now, because I know I'm right. But why, why didn't you tell the police or tell me? Why are you protecting Jeffrey? Not now. Damn it, don't give me the runaround. I have a stake in this. Of course, it doesn't matter much to you, of course, because you skipped out without even leaving me a note. Well, it's better for you that I did it that way. Oh, this says you. I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way at all, because what happens to you down here affects me back in Springfield. And in case you've forgotten, I put up $15,000 and my family's business to post your bond. I haven't forgotten, Buzz. I wasn't going to leave you in the lurch. Right. So these are your working clothes? It's a rather important party. Oh, and I gather that. I mean, I saw all those people down there all dressed up. I mean, some of them with ice around their necks forever, you know. I mean, and by the way, how much were you and Jeffrey thinking you're going to bring in on this haul tonight? I can't talk about this now. I can't explain it now, but you'll get your money back. Oh, my, honey, you, you really, really, really can't guarantee that now, can you? I know I wasn't supposed to leave Springfield while I'm out on bail, but it's only for one night, all right? Let me just get through this one night, and then I'm going back to Springfield, so why don't you go home and wait for me there? You really must think I'm a sap, don't you? But then why not? I mean, why wouldn't you? With my track record, I mean, I'd fall for anything that comes out of some beautiful babe's mouth. And you can really shine me on. I mean, you're the best. Just let me get through what I have to get through tonight. You really don't want to do this, do you? Jeffrey, I have to meet him downstairs, and I have to do it soon. Oh. I'll make you a deal. I'll stay out of your way. If you tell me what's got you so scared. I turn my back for two minutes in the police station and you take off. Now, what I want to know is, is why? To be with my husband. <laughs> you mean the guy that left you holding the bag at the Grant House? The guy who was going to let you rot in a jail cell for him? The guy who didn't have the courtesy to call you up and check and see how you were in the jail? All right, you've made your point, Buzz. Yes, I have, but you have yet to make yours. Fine, I'll make my point. I'll make my point after I do this last job with Jeffrey tonight, all right? 
and then I'll make good on the bail money that I owe you. Now, do you believe me? That part, maybe. I don't buy that you're really doing this for Jeffrey, somehow. I mean, I believed it when you said you were trying to put the jewels back when they caught you. I was. And the part about you not wanting to do a job like this again, was that the truth? Yes. But you're not telling the truth now. Why? <sighs> what got you so scared that you jumped on a plane and came down here? Tell me what it is. I came down here because of the baby. The baby? Jeffrey's baby. Yes. I don't buy it. Well, he's too young to be flown all over the country at this point, and we're very close, he and I. <sighs> so, you jumped in a plane, flew down here to pull off a jewel heist, and you want me to believe that it was all for this baby, Jeffrey's baby. This little boy thinks of me as his mother, and I feel an obligation to him. So yes, my plan was to come and be with him and bring him back to Springfield. That's the honest truth. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to do better than that. I tried to tell you the truth, but you don't believe me, and I don't have time to argue with you. No, well, you know, honey, you're in a heap of trouble here. I mean, no matter what I feel about Jeffrey, you simply can't go taking other people's babies. Buzz, this child thinks of me as his mother. I'm the only one he has. I take care of him. I love him. I know. You can help yourself to people's jewels, but swiping their babies, that's called kidnapping. Them. I'm not kidnapping him. This doesn't make any sense. You're leaving out something. You know what? It's going to have to be good enough. You'll have to just do like it. Like hell, I will. I have to go. Not until you come clean with me. I knew it. It had to be yours. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You did. <sighs> yeah. It had to be your baby. I mean, the stories you told me about Jeffrey, about the robberies, that, they were all consistent. But when it came to little Henry, I mean, first you were unconcerned, then you were his nanny, then you were his stepmother. But you mentioned his name once, and you flew into a panic. He had to be yours. I'm Henry's mother. I'm little Henry's mother. So why didn't you tell me? That's so confusing, Buzz. I'd already lied to you, and what's the point? What's the point? He's your son. It didn't matter. It doesn't concern you anyway. You knew I'd want to know. I know how much a baby means to you. Yes. So I have a baby. It's wonderful. He's wonderful. He means everything in the world to me, but I don't have time to explain everything to you because Jeffrey's waiting for me. Oh, no, no, no. You're not getting rid of me that easy. Look, I'm seeing you all the way back to Springfield, whether you like it or not. Plus, I just told you about this baby. Yeah, I've got to go. I'll get you and the baby back there. But when we get there, you're going to tell me the rest of the story. Jeffrey, I'm sorry I'm late. Yes, I got caught up with some of those guests. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be with you in a minute, I promise. No, everything's absolutely all right. I'll see you down there in a minute, then. Bye. All set. Well, now I know what we're going to do. Let's hit the road. Not quite. 
Why not? Don't tell me you're getting cold feet. Oh, no, not at all. I'd just like to fix my makeup. Oh, no need. You look just perfect. And you will outshine all of Dallas society. <laughs> well, in that case, I really should powder my nose. I'm oh, driving while I'm gone. Why don't you mingle? I'm sure you can find some pleasant company to mingle with. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. The crowd looks, looks just perfect. Listen, we're gonna get this scheme off the ground here. We gotta get into Jeffrey's room. <laughs> well, yes, that would be a very good idea. So we're gonna get rid of these room. <laughs> Excuse us? Well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly know how to clear a room. Well, hey, look, I did some details to work out. I mean, you know, I need a little privacy. <laughs> you have a certainly unique way of finding a way to make us be alone. <laughs> you know, that laugh makes all this worthwhile. Once I have my little Henry back in my arms, I'll have many more reasons to laugh. I'd like to see that. I will. We're going to spring Henry. We're going to get you as far away from Jeffrey as we possibly can. But to do that, we have to get the room key. Well, I'll give it my best shot. Well, I've been on the receiving end of a few of those. I've got to stand a chance. But we got to hurry. we got to hurry. we got to get back. we got to get back to Springfield before the cops and everyone else realize Buzz, that you skipped let them. me worry about my job and you worry about yours. But let me tell you, this nanny that Jeffrey hired, who's babysitting Henry, she's watching him like a hawk. Well, since when can I charm a lady? Uh, that wouldn't be exactly what I would call her. Look, she's, she's got it in for sneaks. You say this because... Because I tried to sneak in there and it didn't work. You did? You're lucky he didn't catch you. When are you going to stop living dangerously? Oh, I couldn't help it. I wanted to see my little boy. Well, speaking of your little boy, I've got about five questions I want to ask about him. Which For I will starters, answer who's it? when you get my son back into my arms. Okay, well, you could get the key. Hey. You stop. Buzz, thank you. party, don't you think? Or a priceless party. <laughs> Darling, there's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Jonathan Price Lamar of the Galveston, of course. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Lamar. Again. Oh, you and my wife know each other. This must be Mr. Lamar. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, you, listen, you have to excuse my wife's formality. Uh, we here in Texas aren't familiar with all these foreigners' ways. Well, I'm afraid your English breeding is showing, Jenna. <laughs> See, Texas folk are not so proper. Uh, Mr. Lamar loves to be called J.P. Uh, only to decent folks who, uh, whose company we enjoy sharing. Uh, excuse us. <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, darling. Honestly, do I need to tell you? Obviously, her husband isn't very good looking. She's jealous because I have a very handsome husband. Well, that's the third time you've flattered me this evening. Where's that coming from? I think you should learn how to take a compliment. Oh, I'm all for compliments as long as they're genuine. Why the sudden change of heart? What do you mean? You are, don't have the slightest bit of resentment that I left you and took Coop. No. Perhaps it's because I'm blinded. By what? <laughs> I'm blinded by the lights shining off all these extravagant jewels. <laughs> don't tell me I was right about Dallas after all. The minute I came down here, I saw this was a jewel of a city, and I realized there was an outrageous wealth to be had. And I had been a little bit moralistic with you, I'm sorry. 
keep talking beautiful when you have that look in your eyes. Perhaps it's the excitement of the big heist. <laughs> does it to you, doesn't it? Every time. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, sure. Darling, we're in society. Look, I am so sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Here, let sure. me take your jacket. No, no, just, no, 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 just, no, no, just all right. It's all right. It's just I'm a little sorry. spill. Really, he'll be fine. You'll be fine, won't you? You're gonna let him get away with this? Oh, come on, Danny. You don't want to entrust your jacket to it. It's certainly an imbecile like that. Now, give it to me, and I'll take it to the ladies' room, and I'll dry it off, and it'll be good as new. Still have wash of touch, Bradshaw. Oh. Little Henry and I are depending on you. Just don't get caught. you are letting yourself into a private room like this. Oh, I beg your pardon, ma'am. They told me that the gentleman that booked this room is uh, whooping up in a shindig down the ballroom there. The hotel set you up? I am the hotel. We're all one big happy family. That's what management says. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm uh, the maintenance. They told me to come down and look at your air conditioning and the heating ducts. What do you have to check for? Well, until I'm sure I'm not supposed to say, ma'am. But seeing as you're a concerned citizen, I'll tell you, that we've had some reports on carbon monoxide leakage in some carbon of the hotel Carbon monoxide? Well, that's been a lot of that in the newspapers lately. This could be very dangerous. Yeah, well, that all depends. On what? On the percentage of saturation. Well, if you think I am going to stand here while you determine whether or not the level of toxic air that I am breathing is lethal or not, then you obviously have no idea who you are dealing with. I'm beginning to see that, ma'am. Now, there's a child asleep right here in this other room, and my employer has entrusted me with his care. I really don't oh, have time oh, for this. No, wait! Oh, no! No! Let me help! Oh, oh. I'm sorry about this, but Henry's gonna be fine. He's gonna be a lot finer with his mama. We'll call you up room service. Get away from me. You said he faked the Texas accent? Two bit con artist, but he was clever enough to get Coop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Kidnapping is a felony. I'm calling the police. No. No cops. I take care of it myself, all right? Well, this is my first time to the Lone Star State, and I find it so terribly charming. Uh, it's such a lovely little town. Well, I suppose it isn't really a little town. I mean, Dallas is really rather a big town. In fact, everything in Texas is big. It's known for the biggest and the best. And speaking of which, my husband and I were thinking of buying a little pied a terre, and we hope to inside. Excuse me. What are you doing? Oh, boy. <laughs> Where is he? Outside. Oh, he's, he's with the chauffeur outside. Oh, is he all right? Yeah, right as rain. And he didn't give you any trouble? He didn't mind going with you? No, you kidding me? We're two pieces in a pod. Oh, well, we better head get going, because I, I lost Jeffrey in the crowd with some 40-carat debutante. Well, let's get to the airport before Jeffrey figures out what happened. 